what is up ladies and gentlemen it's Papa Jellybean I am back with another how to now with Fallout London coming out we've had a lot of people uh, downgrading their Fallout 4 now there are a lot of people in here that use the creation kit and are struggling like me I struggled to find a way to downgrade my creation kit like I did my Fallout 4 so I got it all figured out and figured out everything that's got to be done and everything. So now I'm going to share that knowledge with you guys. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the Steam console. Now to get to the Steam console, just simply hit the Windows key and R. I'll bring this up here. And you're going to type in Steam double backslash navigate backslash console you're going to press OK what that's going to do and as you can see I've already done it this is going to bring up the console now what I've done is I have put everything in a notepad what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all these instructions inside the description so you'll be able to read them as well as follow along in the video so once you've typed in both these commands and you press enter once this is all done, what you're going to do now is you're going to come down to your C drive or wherever your operational system is. Mine's on my C drive. You're going to come to C Windows, come down to Steam. Where are you? Oh, sorry, you got to go to Programs 86. Double click on that, look for Steam. Then you're going to look for Steam Apps. Then you're going to look for the Content Folder. Once you find the Content Folder, double click on it. Double click on App 19461160. Now you're going to have these two folders in your uh, Programs 86. What you're going to do is you're going to take the content of both files and you're going to copy them. You're going to go down to where your game is. And you're going to copy them into here. You'll know you're in the right place when you come to the fallout.exe. So it's just a matter of simply copying them all, dragging them over. go back to the other file and drag it over but oh, wait a minute I just got to move this over because I don't want to make sure it, I want to make sure it doesn't go in and then just drag it over and boom so that is basically how you downgrade your creation kit to um, to match your Fallout 4 one step that you've got to remember is you got to make sure that you go to the manifest and make sure you put it to read only. If you do not put it to read only, your uh, creation kit will upgrade and everything you've done, you'll have to redo it all over again. So that's a quick tutorial on how to downgrade your creation kit. If you found this useful, please give it a thumbs up. Now before I go, I use creation kit platforms and extend it if you come down here into old files the very first one you're going to notice that that's for build 110162 this is the one you're going to want to use if you want to install it now if you want to install this one you just simply manually download it you're going to take all of these files I'll move this over just a little bit kind of And you're going to take all these files and then again you're going to drag them into here where your Fallout 4 EXE is. Now another thing I'm going to show you real quick is if you go to the Creation Kit Platform Extend It, come down to here where it says Dark Theme. It'll say False. If you change that to two, uh, True, sorry, you will have that Dark Theme. So that's just a little added bonus that you may want. 
So like I said, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. The algorithm will love you. I'll love you. Everyone love you. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button, move your mouse a little to the right, and hit that bell icon so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video. And always remember, wherever the journey takes you, may the road rise up to greet you. I'm Jellybean, and thank you so very much for watching.